flower. It'll be me with some vibes. We up in the stars. We up in the clouds. I don't know what you want from me. I told that bitch you can fuck all you want. You just can't fuck a nigga who really ain't hot as me. <laughs> I started producing when I was like 11 years old. She went to link, I'm like, baby, good meeting my brother with me, so you best have a friend for him. I bet. Autumn. A U T U M N exclamation. Wait. Hold up. Come on, bro. Really? Oh my god. <laughs> so you telling me I gotta actually type in Okay, rapper. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Come on, bro. Uh, Stop bro, calling you... me 30 in my DM. I'm not 30. Wait, niggas call you 30 in your bro, DM? Bro, niggas DM me every day. Aren't you 30? <laughs> I'm not 30, bro. Oh, but anyways, the rapper Autumn, exclamation point, whose real name is Benjamin Phillips Jr., is a 23-year-old rapper slash producer who was born in, honestly, I don't even know, bro. Because I'm seeing like three different articles saying he's from Crowley, Louisiana, Lafayette, Louisiana. One of them even says Georgia, bro. Like, they saying he was raised in Houston, Texas. I can't even find an interview where he says where he's from, to be honest. That boy was originally just trying to be a producer for another rapper some of you are probably already familiar with, Summers. You know Summers, you know what I'm saying? That's my yeah. brother. It's my brother and shit. He was rapping before me. Mm -hmm. And like, when he was rapping, I was just producing for him. You feel yeah. me? And I just noticed like, he was catching up to me so fast and he passed me up. Mm -hmm. I was like, damn, maybe I should start rapping. He was like, bro, just start rapping. And I was like, fuck it. I'm gonna just be Autumn. Like, I, I ain't even think about it. I was like, shit, Autumn come after summers. I started rapping after you. But originally never wanted to be a rapper. I didn't even want to do, like, I, ain't, I never wanted to rap before, bro. Like, this was never in some, my- This is some shit that just happened. This was never in my plans. I never liked rapping. Autumn has been producing since the age of 11. I started producing when I was like 11 years old. My older brother, mm -hmm. my older brother was like, fucking up in school and he had to move in with us mm -hmm. and like he ain't never really like he ain't never really fuck with me you know what i'm saying like i never knew why i just knew he liked music i knew that's what he loved so i was like maybe if i start making music i'll be cool with him you know what i'm saying he'll want yeah. to fuck with me so i just downloaded uh i had downloaded this program called mixcraft okay never heard of that one before yeah it's some old shit. that's some like real old shit and um I had started learning how to make beats, mm -hmm. and I was right. Like he was fucking with it. Like we had got cool, and then he ended up moving back. I guess he was doing better. I don't know. And when he left, I was like, "Well, now I know how to make beats for no reason." And I just kept doing it. And I got better at it. One of Autumn's earliest songs was the song Honest, off his first ever EP that released in 2017, actually, called Happy Birthday, produced by him, actually. Oh, and by the way, he has another nickname called Twin Uzis, which is actually the name of his Instagram. Well, you go by Twin, am I saying it right? Twinsis? Twin Uzis, bro. Twin Uzis. Oh, shit. I, I drank it, shot it down Julio. Yeah. yeah. It's all right. It, so many people have this twin Uzis. You know what I'm saying, bro? A lot of people say, like, twins is us, twins is this. Yeah, like, when I first saw it, I'm like, fuck, man. It made me, like, remember being in special ed and shit. I can't spell. <laughs> <laughs> My Instagram name, twin Uzis, and I can't change it. So Why can't you change it? Because Autumn is uh, deleted. My voice just cracked out. was so embarrassing. But yeah, Autumn is like deleted. So I don't Deleted know. from like Instagram database type shit? Yeah. I'm a, I want to call him though. I want to be like, yo, let me get that. Funny thing is though, Can Can, another rapper, actually said in an interview that he didn't even know that they were the same person for a while. <laughs> Autumn will go on to drop another EP after that called Two Seasons. See my phone like who you text Baby, why you then another EP called Autumn. Then another EP called Two Seasons Two. 
back, make her cry, cry, cry. Diamonds on my neck, and they bright, bright, bright. All in 2017, and a shit ton of EPs in 2018. Don't forget me, Bugger World. LSD, Retribution, Retribution 2, Before Retribution 3, and Retribution 3. So he was definitely grinding heavy, bruh, before he truly got some buzz. And you can tell a lot of the production was a lot of that Mexico dro style plug type beats, and eventually it would evolve into what we call plug and B type beats, which has taken over the SoundCloud wave over the last few years or so. But after deciding to really take music seriously and give it his all, he would quit his job at Walmart. He even also worked at Burger King too. We all gotta start from somewhere fam, inspiring for real. He then told his mom to give him three months to try to go crazy off this rap shit. Like October, October is when I quit. I quit October 1st. Nah, I told my mom like, yo, you give me till New Year's bro. Give me till New Year's. If, if it's not working, if I'm not making money off of it, if I'm not doing good, I'll go to college. I'll get a job again. I'll do whatever you want. Yeah. But I don't know. I just started putting in work because I was not trying to do that. He ended up starting to gain some traction with his 2018 mixtape Retribution with the song Nina. I'm running the road, my Nina. Although he said he hates that track and made it in only like 15 minutes. And just like a lot of these new up and coming rappers, the song would eventually blow up on TikTok in the summer of 2019. Autumn's second breakout song would come out in January of 2020. Still the same. Becoming his fastest song to reach half a million streams on SoundCloud. Then just a few months later, that boy Lil Tecca would get on the remix. She hit up my line and she tell me she love me in the back of my head and know she could do better. See, this is why I rock with Tecca, man, because he could easily have been like, bruh, I blew up with a smash hit song. Fuck all the new up and coming dudes. I'm a star now. But nah, he be showing hella love and co-signing a ton of these new rappers out here. In my playlist right now. Summers, autumn. What is it? Summers. My nigga Summers, my nigga Autumn. So I definitely gotta mention the collective known as Slay World. From what I understand, it was a collective of SoundCloud rappers and producers who all primarily used the plug and B sound. It was founded in early 2016, and the intent behind it was to just collaborate and promote each other's music through loose affiliations, kinda like a members only. The roster seemed to have changed regularly, but some of the notable ones were definitely Autumn, Summers, Can Can, and that boy <laughs> but recently there were some crazy allegations and the group was under fire a bit so as of now slay world is no longer a thing but also just a few months ago we gotta talk about this beef that him and yeet currently have going on so i don't know when exactly it all started but when autumn dropped the song portrayal which i ain't gonna lie sounds a lot like yeet bruh Yeet said this on his story. Motherfucker really trying to sound like me, bro. Go do something else. That shit suck. Then Autumn would respond saying, I gave you your voice and your biggest song before your distro deal. I'm assuming he's talking about the song Meh, the remix they made. Woke up this little morning, my diamonds came in from Elliot. And that Drake shit, put an address on that shit when you speak on me. And remember how grateful you was to even be in my circle before you got your name up. Your number's just now touching what I touched, and my deal ain't even start yet. So we gon' see who really lit when they put that engine behind me, like you be having. Yeet would respond saying, I think somebody mad I passed him. Damn, that's crazy to be honest, because if you look at this story that Autumn put up, it's a convo between the two, where Yeet contacted him mid-2020, asking Autumn to be on a song together, and for Autumn to send his album because he's trying to hear some of it, with Autumn saying, we ain't forget. It's crazy too, because they have other songs together, like Wants. It's funny what Autumn says in this song though. He said, gotta stop putting my hoes on Yeet cause now they can't stop saying sorry about it. <laughs> and the song probably. Autumn's been going crazy this past year and recently too. I'll just show you a lot of the songs that I've been rocking with. He actually dissed Yeet on that song. He said, I put a bell in a couple songs just cause I know it's some dudes that hate it. Dude been blowing off my sound for years and somehow my spot never been taken. Yeet 
turn that shit to full. Hey, I'm 15 cub, I'm maple goose, two meds, we hood. And of course, we gotta talk about the song One Way. I don't wanna waste no more time. It really took off recently. Personally, I'm not a fan of it if I'm being real. It's just not what I like Autumn for. It's a cool song, sounds like a smooth interlude type track, but eh, it's whatever. But with a crazy work ethic, which he has, and continuing the grind of a bunch of music videos, man, Autumn is definitely up next. What do you really have to lose? It's your first year of college. You ain't learning shit. You're not even passing. Your job sucks. You know what I'm saying? Now we in Louisiana, bro. You making after tax, bro? You making like five fifty hour? Damn. Yeah, it's shit. It's shit, bro. I used to work full time. My check was eight hundred dollars for the month. Eight hundred dollars, bro. People don't realize like the people who really like like people like us in this room, bro. Like we give up everything to be here so we can do whatever we want. And people don't be understanding that, and that's why they won't be in this room. You get in a position like this. The most satisfying thing is gonna be like it's not gonna be the materialistic. It's gonna be that feeling of achievement. Right. It's just that feeling of achievement. Like you feel like you finally made it. Yeah. 